Yeah, right. Um, yeah, well, my latest book is on the historicity of Jesus, and the significance of this, and I talked about it uh, yesterday, uh, was um, th this idea that Jesus never really existed as a historical person has been kicked around for about 100 years. And in the last 20 years, a lot of amateur books and websites and things have come out. It even like was a featured topic in Religious, the movie. Um, and, but the problem is that there's a lot of misinformation, a lot of bad scholarship, uh, but there's also a lot of good stuff in there as well, and it's all sort of mixed up. And no one had really gone through the trouble of clearing away all the bad stuff, gathering all the good stuff, doing thorough research on it all, and then presenting it in a manner that would pass peer review at an academic press. Uh, and so my book is actually the first book arguing that there was no Jesus, that he was actually a mythical person that was made up, um, or at least the, the Jesus of Galilee was made up. It's the first one that's to be published by a university, the University of Sheffield, uh, and to have passed uh, extensive peer review within the field. Uh, and so it's going to get more attention from scholars in the field. And since it doesn't have all of the bogus stuff in it that other <laughs> things have had, uh, it's actually the first really good case that I think uh, might start to rattle the cages of biblical studies. Uh, and I, I guess maybe we can talk more about that if people call in and want to know more about it. Uh, but that's just the gist. Sure, yeah. Um, with both Richard and Chris here uh, talking about their topics, this would be a great day to talk about something they know about. <laughs> Uh, but we'll be happy to get the usual kind of calls, too. Uh, anything else? <laughs> <coughs> no, that's it, actually. Oh, well, I, I suppose I should mention, for those who don't know, uh, my PhD is in ancient history from Columbia University, uh, history of philosophy, religion, and science in the Greco-Roman era. So that's my main field of expertise for those who are interested in calling in on that subject. Okay. 